Hello everybody, welcome to Filmmaking Today, Bojan Dulebic here. So, have you ever thought about using a graphics tablet but for video editing? Stay tuned. So this is the Wacom Intuos Pro 2019 medium-sized model. Let's take a look at what comes in the box. So in the box you get obviously the tablet itself, a USB Type-C cable to charge it and also to run it off of it if you don't want to use the battery, your usual manual and warranty, you get these extra rings that are different colors that you can use for the pen, the pen itself, and the pen stand which has also included different nibs inside. When it comes to physical buttons, there are 10 programmable buttons in total. You have 4 on the upper side, 4 on the lower side, a scroll wheel in the middle, and a button inside the scroll wheel. There's also the on-off button for the tablet itself and an on-off button to enable or disable the touchpad interface. Something else that's extremely important to use with a graphics tablet is a wrist pad. I bought this one on eBay for just a few dollars and it's definitely worth it. Technically this one is designed for a small keyboard but it fits this graphics tablet perfectly in terms of width. Here I'm going to show you what this looks like in Premiere Pro. So as you can see, here's my tablet, here's me. And um, yeah, let's just go through some of the main things. Again, this is related to filmmaking. It's not about uh, digital art, so it's not about drawing or anything like that. This is definitely for editors and filmmakers. So um, uh, why don't we start with uh, the buttons up here. So as you can see, you've got all these buttons up here like I showed you and uh, if you want to know what any of them does you just have to hover over it don't press it and then you see right there it'll tell you what each does right and uh, that's a pretty cool feature because otherwise you just you have to memorize it and that's a pain um, in the ass for sure so uh, if you want to program the buttons and again this is for people who haven't used a graphics tablet before if you have I'm sorry this is gonna be old news to you but if you want to program it you uh, open up the uh, this guy right here, the Wacom uh, tablet properties. Now the cool thing here is that you can program it for specific applications. So you can go. So if we go to functions, which is uh, the buttons basically, so you can go all other, and that's basically going to cover everything. But if you want specific ones, like I have here for Premiere Pro, now you can assign buttons. So. If we think of uh, specific things that video editors use, uh, in my case, for example, I use the home button, the end button quite a lot to go back and forth between the beginning and the end of the timeline. Now, you could use your keyboard, obviously, but if you don't want to use your keyboard and you just want to use this guy, you can just program those in, right? Um, you can, uh, uh, one cool thing, so if you are in a, in a, in a um, timeline here, and uh, if you hit the um, H button on your keyboard, right, it, you get the hand icon. And then the cool thing is you can actually move the timeline back and forth, right? Now that's pretty cool, right? And then if you hit the V, you get the selection one. Well, uh, you can program that. So um, to do that very easily, um, let's say uh, I've got the hand one here. So let's say we wanted to program it. You click on this little... Um, thing here and you would go to uh, let me see keyboard keystroke and then you just type in whatever you want here so you know no, we gotta delete this delete this uh, or you can clear it all and then hit just H you can name it whatever you want and boom done that's it so that's how you program it it's very simple very easy and uh, if we go back in here that's basically what it is. Now, another cool thing is the fact that uh, this um, scroll wheel here, uh, if you move that around, see, now it moves the timeline. So if you want to go a little bit, you know, uh, move it, that's cool. Um, where it really becomes useful is uh, if you are looking at a uh, clip, right, and you want to just kind of scroll through it a little bit. Now, this is a bad example, oops, because there's really no, nothing happening, but... Uh, uh, let's say okay well there you go so you know click on the window here and now you can move you can see it's moving again it's hard to tell because there's not a lot of movement here but why well, you can see the uh, box moving there the camera moving I mean um, so you know that's that so there's a lot of things you can do now this guy here is the medium one as I mentioned you can get a smaller one you can even get a bigger one bigger one to me just doesn't make sense 
Um, smaller one, I think it works, and I've used it in the past, but to me, the medium one is sort of, um, it's, you know, it's the middle one, and it definitely works for me, especially if you have two screens like I do, right? So you've got the, the all this range here to move back and forth, and you can adjust that. You can, you can um, uh, even make it smaller and all that stuff. It's in the properties. I'm not going to go through all of it because it's really not what this is about. It's just to show you that you can use this guy. Um, for uh, video editing, right? So, you know, it's, yeah, it's definitely doable and uh, it works just fine, right? Another cool thing um, that I've done, for example, uh, when it comes to the buttons, I think it's, uh, yeah, this button here. So I, I just called it frame. So I do this a lot when, um, you know, let's say I wanna screen capture this, right? Well, you know, to do this, you would have to click here, boom, and set your settings, right? Or you can just hit the button, boom, get it. Now, it's not the end of the world to go here, but, you know, it speeds up your workflow. Boom, done, right? Or another thing um, that I use a lot is uh, now that we finally have guides in uh, um, uh, Premiere Pro, you know, I want to turn them on and off. Oops, sorry. I <laughs> see wrong button. I want to turn them on and off, right? Or I want the ruler, uh, this button right here, right? I use that quite a lot, or both of them, right? Actually, I usually have the ruler on. So it, it just speeds up your workflow. Again, you can do this on your keyboard, but something like uh, uh, um, your um, guides, you know, you'd have to go control, uh, what is it, control colon, semicolon. So, you know, instead of that, you can just do this. So there's definitely advantages to, you know, using this guy. And then obviously if you have touch like I do, you have a touch capability here. So, you know, this is also a touch interface. Uh, the touch interface, it's not as good as um, as a laptop, uh, the mouse pad on a laptop. Not quite there yet, but it's getting better and better. I've definitely noticed over the years that they have been improving it. So I, I do use this. Um, I do turn it on and off though sometimes um, because sometimes it's a little too sensitive. So it drives me nuts. So I turn it off when I use the pen and I turn it back on when I use, uh, when I don't use the pen, I just want to use this as a mouse and uh, it works just fine. So that's it guys, I hope you found this video useful. As you can see, you can definitely use a graphics tablet for video editing. There are tons of people out there, professional editors, who use graphics tablets as opposed to a mouse, right? So it can definitely be done. Now, why should you do it? Well, one of the main reasons is, um, you know, your, your health. Uh, using a mouse is really not a comfortable thing. It's really, it's something we got used to, but honestly, for your health, for your wrist, to avoid carpal tunnel and all that kind of stuff, it's really not, uh, you know, great to use a mouse. Even uh, those ergonomic mice, I mean, they're better, yeah, sure, but it's still not the greatest. Uh, this way, you're basically using a pen. It's like you're writing. Right, so that's much better for your wrist than using a traditional mouse. So that would be the main reason. And then other than that, um, you know, depending how proficient you get, it can speed up your workflow. As you saw, depending on how you customize the buttons and all that good stuff. So if you ever thought about using a graphics tablet for video editing, I hope this video helped you. Links to everything you saw here today will be in the description, so check them out. They are affiliate links, so when you use them, it won't cost you anything extra, but I do get a little bit, uh, a percentage from uh, whatever you buy on Amazon, so it helps me, helps the channel, so I can buy more stuff, review it, and all that good stuff. So that's it, guys. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, all that good stuff, tell your friends, and stay tuned for more. Thanks.